In this video, we're going to give a basic overview of our forms engine inside of Carrot. And with Carrot, of course, you've got pre-built forms already in your system, but also you have the ability to go in and create your own forms, edit our forms, do whatever you want. Uh, these forms are, are drag and drop. Yeah, as you're going to see, it's really easy to, to edit forms, create forms, but also we have some really advanced features for the more advanced users if you want access to those. So just to show you what I'm looking at here, I'm on one of our sample websites. And here is a form. So this form right here is something you can control. You can edit it. Uh, going to the lead page, I'm going to click this banner. And uh, let's see. Da, da, da. So this form right here. This form right here is another form that we can edit. Any form on the website is a form that, of course, you can edit. The forms in the lead pages, the whole thing. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you where to go to access the forms, give you a quick tour of the forms, and then there's other video tutorials you can access from this page that will give you specific tutorials on each aspect of the forms. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your system. And of course over here on, on the left side is forms. And you're going to see an option box pop up with some different options. Forms will just take you to the overall general page to see all of your forms. New form, you can create a new form from right here. Entries, this will take you directly to see the entries, the opt-ins for your forms. Then you'll see AWeber, MailChimp, Settings, Import, and Export. Um, AWeber and MailChimp are two email marketing systems that we integrate directly with. So if you use AWeber or MailChimp for your email autoresponders, you can plug them directly into these forms. There's tutorials showing you how to do that. Uh, form settings, you'll rarely ever need to touch that. And import and export, same thing. You'll probably never ever have to touch that. Let's go ahead and just click forms out and show you around. So the first thing you're going to see when you're, when you're inside of forms is you're going to see a page with a listing of all the, the current active forms on your website. You're going to see how many views uh, are on those forms. And this is this is gross views. So this is if you if you viewed the form ten times yourself, it's going to show ten views. Okay, um, so it, it it's it's gross views. It's not net views. Entries. So this is how many people have opted into the form. And then this is a little uh, conversion rate that that is calculated based on um, how many views and how many entries there are. Okay, so you can kind of have a good little gauge for what your conversion rate is going to be. And there's a couple cool things you can do. You can uh, if, if you want to ever reset your views, so let's say you've kind of gone through, edited up your website, and now you want to get rid of all these views so your conversion rates are going to be correct, you can always go up to bulk action, go click reset views, make sure you check all those, I click apply, and you're going to see how all my views in this are going to be reset. So now, um, now my conversion rates are going to be more accurate once I start marketing. So that's a quick little trick. Uh, the way that you're going to access your forms is just go ahead and click whatever form you want to edit. Uh, so you've, if you hover over, you can see these different kind of uh, quick start links that will take you through to some of these forms. You can preview them if you want to see what the form actually looks like. If you like a form and you just want to duplicate it, put it on a different page with a little bit different setting, click duplicate. If you don't need the form anymore and it's just getting in your way and you know you'll never use it again, you can delete it. But make sure you know that you can't retrieve forms that you've deleted. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this form to take you inside of a form area and just show you around really, really quickly. And then you can look at the other tutorials on this page to see how to create forms, edit forms, uh, change the email notifications on forms, stuff like that. So as you'll see, when, when you click that, uh, when you click an existing form, you're going to see the settings on the left. This is actually the form. And then on the right hand side, these are the different settings that you can add to your forms. Okay, so you can see we in this one we have a name field, we have an email field, and in this one we have an HTML block, which all that means is for these particular forms that we've already created for you, we went ahead and put a little block of text that says we will never rent, sell, share your info with anyone. It's essentially a little disclaimer for people saying that you won't spam them, okay? But the cool thing about all these is you can delete all these little settings, you can add new ones. So once again, a little quick thing, if you want to add a uh, checkbox in there, just go ahead and click checkboxes. It's going to add it to this, and you can drag it to wherever on the area you want it. You can click Edit, and then you can start diving in and editing. So that's a quick run through on forms. Um, I guess a couple other things here. Like I said, you can click Preview and see what the form looks like. Of course, it is going to look different on the pages because our pages have different styling. But that will at least show you what, uh, what information is on them. You can see the entries for a form by clicking that, and you can see form settings 
by clicking this. We're going to be going over in some other video tutorials on some form settings like uh, changing your email notifications. Confirmations is essentially what happens after someone puts in their information in your form. Where do you want them to go? That's what confirmations are. Uh, and then notifications are, again, emails that our system will send out to you as the site owner when a lead comes in or that will send out to that person who opted in. Uh, that's where notifications are. So check our other video tutorials out, and we'll talk soon.